Drink beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I'll be talking about the very sensitive topic of how to buy homebrew gear and stay married. For the uninitiated you may be wondering what all this fuss is about, so let me explain. So you may have just started homebrewing with a pot on your stove and a bag for your grain with your plastic fermenter, but trust me, this will not last forever. You will discover better ways. Many will see things like this and then this, and before you know it you will be under their spell. Even if you resist some of this then your brew pot and bag will become an all-in-one brewing system of one kind or another. Your plastic fermenter will become a super shiny fermenter. And then there is how to heat and cool it, how to monitor your fermentation. And you'll also need a freezer for your hops, a fridge for your yeast, and lots and lots of extras. Oh, and we haven't even talked about beer dispensing and storage solutions. Phew. So as you by now realise, before long, you will need to think very smartly about how you will buy these items and stay married. Let the guide begin. Some of you may not have started yet with your home brewing. This can be a volatile time for any married man. Your best way in is to tell her you started home brew to save money, and that money can help fund things she is interested in too. Make it about her. She will surely love that. One prerequisite of actually using this plan though is be sure to have your own separate bank account. Otherwise this plan could result in divorce. Another tactic is to think of ways a brewing system will benefit your wife. Does she drink beer? If so, promise to brew styles she likes. You will certainly have an easier time than those of us that have wives that dislike beer. There is a flip side here though, and that is that you can just focus on the styles you like, of course. Another idea is to tell her you can do fancy French cooking in a brewing system. Just put the vacuum sealed food within the grain basket and set the cooking temperature. Easy stuff and a great dual use for your brewing system. Just be sure to not teach her how to use it, otherwise this could cause you inconvenience in the future of course. Another consideration is the don't tell her into it arrives tactic. It was a special limited time offer, you had to make a snap decision and bought it to save money. Naturally the advantage here is that you have the item. The disadvantage being that this could in some cases cause tension leading to marital breakdown. A risk assessment should be made in advance. This tactic could be worth consideration for veteran brewers also, but it is certainly not a card to play too often and your frequency of using this tactic should be part of your risk assessment. Cases have been known where this tactic has been deployed and it's ended up with a brewer's fatality. You have been warned. And here is another tip for veterans. Once you have some items then quite often your wife will lose track of what you have already and new items will just blend in. Sneak them into the house when she is out, you know it makes sense. In the mid game you will need a room just for all of your homebrewing stuff. Here is mine. Plenty of hiding places by design. In case you were wondering I wasn't actually joking when I said you will need a separate fridge and freezer. What I was of course joking about was needing just one room for all of my homebrew stuff. I could not possibly fit all of my stuff in one room. I have more in other rooms in the house of course. Ok, so before you go I think I better end with a disclaimer. I want to make it absolutely crystal clear that no wives were harmed or intended to be harmed in the production of this video. This video was made for educational training purposes and I take no responsibility for any of this humorous advice when used in the theatre of marriage. This now brings this video to a close. If you have any questions then please let me know via YouTube or Facebook. I do hope that you found this video to be useful, interesting and enjoyable. If appropriate then please like this video on YouTube and if you've not done so already then please subscribe. I regularly post new content. Happy brewing!